Oh yeah, how's it going everyone? Maryland here! And it's time for more Animal Crossing! Although I was just gonna update Muxy! No, it's not actually I think Muxy did wrong this time. It's just the schedule. I need to... Hey, it's also on uh, Fridays! 5 p.m. <laughs> uh, here. This is gonna be much text. I think it probably is. Hey, thanks so much, Shripa, for the 100 bits. Saying sadly, there's no type of bits to express sadness, but here are 100 sad bits because I'm going to miss Rory so much whenever he moves. I know, I will definitely. I'll miss him. I really enjoyed him in this town, actually. Also, how's it going, Secret Silver Gamer and Verithin and Gaming Fan? How you doing? Also, thank you so much, Secret Silver Gamer. For seven months, really do appreciate that. All right, let's just do. Okay, what am I doing right now? By the way, I'm just updating the a uh, little text that I always ignore. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. Anyway, I think we're ready to start playing. Ah, something in my eye. Don't you hate it when you get, like, something in your eye? It's like, oh. Stop this pain! What is the theme of my 3DS? It's, uh, it's some sort of... Pikachu one. I don't remember which one actually had it for a while. Oh, how's it going, Salty Katie Games? And Mr. Dirt Plays TV, how you doing? So how's it going, Bunny Honey? All right, so let's get this party started here. Yeah, uh, I had Rory in Cheville, as I find out, but I don't know. He wasn't as interesting in Cheville, but I've really enjoyed him over here. Hey, how's it going, Yanni? All right, so remember, I sent Francine that bed yesterday. Oh, man. <laughs> not, not the right color. Not quite. This is probably hybrid as well. Ooh, actually, either of these could be. Uh, well. Let's see. I need to. I need to put this purple rose somewhere. I don't know where though. All right. Let's see. Well, I guess I'll put it over by the other stuff. I think I probably have enough. Happy to see we reached 50 days. Oh, yeah. We destroyed that goal. Oh, are they talking? Oh, they're not. Look like they were, though. Uh, <laughs> I got a long way to go. All right. Man, you're actually out and about. There's nothing quite like eating an orange from Porberg. Oh. <laughs> Well, I mean, I'll get you an orange, but it certainly won't be from Porberg. All right, let's, uh... Oh, Stitches should be out and about as well. Well, hold on just a darn moment, because I want to get these flowers sorted out. I think that's rather important. In fact, what might be a good idea, these all should be hybrids, like, realistically. But I have two over, uh... Well, that have grown, so I think what I'll do, what is, <laughs> recognize, head over there. Okay, so what I think I'll do, I think I'll take these two, and we're just gonna set them up somewhere separate, just on the off chance for some reason those aren't hybrids. Like, they should be, I've been very careful with that, but I'd like a more, um, 
secluded location. I guess we'll just go right here, right? More punny riddles. Uh, I mean, as long as it doesn't get too disruptive. I've, like, I'd limit it to maybe, like, three. Otherwise, what ends up happening? I'm not trying to shoot it down, but, um... What ends up happening is then that's all chat does, and there's no conversation. <laughs> so, that can be a problem if it just, uh just evolves into that. I've had it happen before, and it's like, it, it's funny for a little bit, and then it just kind of stops. As long as chat, if we can all agree that won't completely have a vacuum of discussion, that'd be fine. Alright, one really good one. I'll hold you to it. Hey, how's it going, tiger? Alright, let's see. Oh, I didn't ever check my mail. That was what I was, like, intent on doing. Oh, Katrina's in town. All right, let's see what Katrina has to say. I have a little bit of extra cash. A little bit. Hey, how's it going, Snake Eye? All right, here we go. Bring my star matrix in here. Hey. Young kitten travels alone. Oh man, you better not be back here again. Disaster upon my health. Dotted bottoms. Uh oh. I don't think I have dotted bottoms. This is bad. Yikes. Uh oh, <laughs> this could be bad. Uh, so does that mean if I'm running, I could run into some trouble? Perfect. <laughs> Let's trip. Wait for that. Thank you so much, Reepa, for the 100 bits. Saying, all right, one amazing punny riddle coming your way. Why are ghosts bad at lying? Uh... I don't know, as you can see right through them. <laughs> I don't know, why? You want to come over to my house, Cyrano? Okay. <laughs> Do you have a bed? Do you have a plan? Do you clean often? <laughs> oh, it was you can see right through them. Hey! <laughs> nice. I, I was kind of like a stretch in the dark there. Kind of a parental thing I'm feeling all right. I think you just get lonely, Cyrano. Okay, we'll do it at uh, 12. Gotta be back here by then. He wants to go to my place. He's like an overly cautious dad or something. Daddy Cyrano. Oh wait, I didn't bring it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, I have oranges, but... But my fruit! <laughs> oh, it broke her heart! Well, I can't just... I, I can't just, you know... Oh, it's Limburg. Hey, whoops. Uh, let's chat. I've been having trouble catching a pike lately. Ooh, I think I have a pike. Sure. Oh yeah, that was your old nickname or username, Mr. Dirt Plays. I'd forgotten that. I remember that name. Oh, there's like two flies over there. Okay, wow, there's a lot of gifts here. So we got one from Cyrano, another from Cyrano, from your mom, and from Francine. What? All right, I gotta read this one from Francine. Uh, dear Oliver, I was delighted to discover your letter in my mailbox to compose a perfect letter. Think about the recipient while you're writing. I do it. Sorry about the handwriting, yours. Wait, did she not like it? Maybe she didn't like it. Um, all right, what else did I get here? Yeah, I don't really need this from Dan now, do I? Francine. 
What's this one from Cyrano say? Uh, what? To Oliver, you're doing all right. Just between us, you're one of the few people I think of as a close pal. So don't you disappoint me by moping about silly stuff you hear. Wait, I didn't even write him. Why is he sending me this out of the blue? So weird. All right, uh, what did your mom send me? Dear Oliver, I remember, or I keep remembering one fall night when you were yelling at fireflies, trying to get them to land on your hand. Keep warm. Fireflies, get out of my hand! Why couldn't the skeleton go to church? Oh man, why? They couldn't play the organ? I don't think Francine liked it. <laughs> uh, oh well, hopefully she liked the bed. I want to see it in her house. Alright. While I'm here, let me make sure I get the perfect orange. <laughs> that is pretty sad, Snake Eye. They didn't have organs. Ah, I was close. All right, uh, let's see. Need the orange, perfect orange. I have several of those. Quite a few. Okay, we're not gonna let Nan down now. No. That. Paper too. Okay. All right, let's go. I missed my bunk bed already. Like I like the pineapple bed, but it's not quite the same. Oh man! All right, Nan. Time for you to eat a delicious, perfect orange. All right, I'm sorry I uh, I got your hopes up a moment ago, but here, you can have this. Perfect orange, wow, that was fast. Well then, don't mind. Nom, nom, nom. It was so good, I never thought I'd have a chance to eat such a perfect orange. These are tears of joy. Aw, she's so cute. I'm so satisfied. Here, I'll give you my pothos. My way of saying thank you. Uh, thanks? For your pothos. Which I think is a plant. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure, but I think it is. Alright, can I trip? trip? The ruby. Do I really need this? I feel like I have too many. You know? So I haven't tripped yet, so maybe I don't have the worst luck in the world right now. All right, yeah. So I need to check my turnip prices. I had, I had a dream last night. I mentioned it in the uh, Discord before I started streaming, but I had a dream. Actually, I guess it was this morning that my turnip prices got up to 714 bells, which was just absolutely ridiculous. What you want a baby? You want a baby, Chrissy? Okay, sure. You should go for it. Now, I'm gonna guess it's probably just a small spike, but it did start to increase. Uh, 109. Yeah, it's not looking very good. <laughs> probably just a small spike. It was 93 last time at Tuesday p.m., so... Probably not going to be anything too great, which is fine. All right, well, I mean, there's still a chance. Like, I think it could still. I should look at some historical data. All right, anyway. It was an interesting dream. You ever have dreams about like games that you're playing? I used to have a lot of those when I was a kid. Actually, I still have a few.
What happens if you wear the lucky item? I mean, it depends on if it's, um... If it's, like, a good luck fortune or if it's a bad luck fortune. If it's a bad luck fortune, it'll prevent the effects. If it's a good luck fortune, you'll have much better luck and stuff. But, like, if it's about, um, money, you'll get a lot more money from money rocks, from trees, things like that. I only got a few oranges. That's not bad. I think I really had enough for a full harvest anyway. Also, what are my, uh, initiatives? Fish it forward. Lucky item. Ah, uh, yeah, right. Stockpile sweets. Oh, I could do that. Hey, off your home loan already. Oh, no. They're on me about that. Yikes. All right. Well, it's fine. Although, that's not what I want to do. What I want to do... Did I celebrate the water well? I don't think we did. We need a celebration. Got to celebrate that thing. Let's do that. And let's, uh... Let's build that, that log. Log bench. Oh, I guess we already did celebrate it. Okay. Alright, let's start a new project. Um, log bench. 38,000. I could afford that. If there was anything else that I really wanted here. Oh, no. I hate that, Shripa. Uh, yeah, let's... Find a good spot for this. I'll buy it right away, too. Where should I put it? Like, I want it next to a tree. And I want to chop it down, because I really like that look. Really cool. I'm thinking... Over by my house. Pretty nice. But that would require me to chop down a tree as well. Unless I could have it, like, right down here. I kind of wanted to chop down that tree for a while anyway. Alright, uh... That could work! Feel near the village? I feel like it would work out really good having it... In Oliver's house, like, this whole area just looks completely run down. Um, although we'd lose this orange tree, but that's not a huge deal, honestly. Otherwise, it would look pretty nice over, over here, like, by the campsite. And we could have it off in the background here. I really like how these trees look. Although, if there is a tent, then we wouldn't really see it. Although, then again, if there isn't, it'd be a really nice location. Um, alternatively, we could put it across the bridge so there's something there. I don't necessarily want it too close to the village because I'd like to make sure people have been to the village. We put it, like, right over here. This is a nice, peaceful spot have one of these trees like I can grow a tree and then just chop it down too like that's fine all right what do you think of this Isabel I like it's centered between those two. Oh no actually I don't know if it can be all right over here all right, what do you think? Oh no, it's too far to the left now. All right, what about right here? There, there we go, that looks pretty good. Although, it's gonna be a problem putting a tree next to it, because I, I don't think I can put a tree directly next to it, can I? I think it has to be a little bit away. Um... Yeah, maybe this isn't as good as I thought, lining it up with those two. 
Let's like move them back or something. Or move them forward. Alright, hold on. This is a decent spot. We also don't need to have the chop tree. I mean, I guess that's fine. I just... I kind of like that look. I don't really know where else to put it. Oh, you know what? Rory is going to be moving out soon. What if we had it over by where Rory's house was? Like, just this nice little bench getaway here. It'll chop down an orange tree, but I think that's fine. Oh, too close to the river. Hey! Actually, I think that's fine. I think it's just be up here. It should do. All right, what do you think of this spot? Show me. Oh, look at that! That looks really nice. Yeah, let's do that. No, I don't think anyone will be at the beach during hide and seek. Pink. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be lovely. Except, I just realized I can't put a tree. <laughs> no, I can't put a tree anywhere where I wanted. Because it won't grow. It'll have to be like way back. Oh, well, whatever. It looks nice. I guess that's what's important. Even if it isn't perfect, it's fine. It'll, it'll look cool. I like it. Entirely possible that with Rory moving out, the village could get its ninth resident. What? There's like ten people in here. Oh, you mean the village. The village. Yeah, yeah, I see what you mean. This crowded area. The village. Yep. <laughs> yeah, you're right. That'd be crazy if that happened. Oh, zero. Wait. No, not right now. Okay, yeah. Wanted to talk to Rory in the first place. Whoa, check you out with your pathos. I'm so jealous you got an eye for rare treasures. Uh, okay. A vintage telephone. Wait, but that's your vintage telephone that you call me on. Okay, well, it's fine. You want this pathos. I, I gotta give it to you. Yeah, seriously, thanks. Now, what do I do with this thing? Hey, how's it going, Max LP Queen? Take care. Now, if he changes his mind, that doesn't change mine. <laughs> uh, he will move out on the 25th. I'm going to kick him out by the amiibo cards. Um, Alright, so I need a pike. Just to move things along, you know. Alright, let's see what Eloise is up to. <laughs> yeah, so true, Shripa. Alright. Yes, I know about rules for Porberg, Eloise. I see you're in boring mode today. A tin shirt? Uh, I don't really want a tin shirt. Hey, thank you, Dr. Cat Astro, for the 1,100 bits. I don't know... It must be a Muxy thing. It's not showing the new bits, because why would it do that? <laughs> but thank you so much. It looks like it gave a 10% bonus, saying, I just got Soleil's pick. Carry on. Oh, man. Thank you so much for that. That's just another reminder that Muxy is just not effective. <laughs> Come on! Muxy, why don't you show new bits, like, ever? This happened with the last one where there was a bonus. I'm going to contact them and just see. It doesn't seem like they ever bond positively, though. But thank you so much for that. All right. I will add it manually, then. That. It kind of works. 
Uh, thank you so much, Shreepa, for the 300 cap of bits, saying, needed a reason to get myself an even 2,000, so Devin, just shut up and take my bits. Hey, thanks so much for the bits. Really do appreciate it. Yeah, I wish that they would update more often. Like, here, let me even check their Twitter. I feel like... I feel like this is something that, you know, people I've watched have, like, complained about, too. <laughs> so, uh, let's see. Yeah, there's like not really a lot. Um, trying to move. On. I'll try to do that next year. I'll make that one of my resolutions. I mean, like even looking at tweets and replies, it's like there's a week between replies. <laughs> in several instances, and that's just, that's not really acceptable. Oh yeah, look at this, they're saying, we do not plan to add the subway cheer modes. Excuse me? <laughs> Excuse me? Hold on a second, all right. Look at this, all right. There's a tweet right there. Someone asking, the subway promotional bits don't trigger alerts. Is there any plan on working on this before the promotion is over? And they say, we do not plan to add the subway cheer modes. Why are you being promoted by Twitch? Why are you being promoted by Twitch if you're not willing to take even simple actions during promotions? That's just downright negligent. That's, yeah, that's really bad. That's what I mean. Like, I was looking on their Twitter and I just remember running into something not even as bad as that. That's just like, oh, we're, we're not feeling it. We're, we're not lazy. Or we're just too lazy for this. <laughs> uh, they used to be. They used to be pretty good. They just don't care anymore. That's just, that's disappointing. Anyway. So I guess that's probably going to be the norm for the, the Terminator bits. Oh, look, she set up the bed. Oh, hey. It looks really good in her house, though. Whoa, hello. We also put the shirt that I sent her, put it in the room. <laughs> this is weird. She's just looking at me while I sleep. I see. All right, how are you doing? I'm wondering if you'll help me with the decor in here. I'm looking for something, I don't know, something that looks nice with everything in here, hon. Oh, all right. So we have free reign over this. So what would look nice in here? I mean, we have the bed. What is she missing? She has music. She has a lovely bed there. She has a couch. Trying to be creepy again. Oh, boy. What do we do? I feel like we were too creepy last time. I wonder if I have any other regal pieces. That looked pretty nice in there. <laughs> Maybe Francine wanted to join me. Oh boy. All right, I need to find something for her, and I could probably even refurbish it as well. Yeah, I need to look at new alerts, like, right away. Even if they're not perfect, I feel like <laughs> it's probably better to have something that isn't perfect than to have something that doesn't work. Because it's really cool when Twitch runs those, those, uh, you know, promo bit things. Oh, that's right! I was gonna give her this lounge! I already have it! I already have exactly the item I wanted to give her!
Because it was really fancy. Yes. But yeah, I think having something is better than nothing. And that extra 10% bits, that's nice. I mean, that that's really nice. All right. Well, I don't think I'll be able to work on it today, but maybe tomorrow. Like, I have to work on the site today. I've been... I have been, uh... I'm not really slacking. I've just been busy with other things. All right. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> oh, you know the perfect spot? Okay, don't get rid of your bed or I'm going to be really mad. I think that spot in the back would be great. Yeah, right there. Look at that. It's the perfect touch, hon. Huh? That's right. I owe you a nice thank you gift, don't I? Here, why don't you take this? It's a green chair! <laughs> wow! The disrespect! Oh. Thanks. I find bonsai fascinating. It takes so much patience and care to grow them. Quack. All right, uh, anything else? You just said that! Francine, dear, are you okay? <sighs> Streamlabs and OBS are options. What would you plan on using when slash if I replace Muxy? Uh, OBS doesn't have, like, alerts or anything. OBS is what I use for streaming. Muxy is for the alerts and like the tracker stuff. But I'd probably use Streamlabs. I don't like Streamlabs because they have this stupid like premium service scam that they get people on and charge them $5 a month and they don't even realize they're being charged which is, I don't like that practice. It's very bad. But yeah, um, I would probably Probably go with Streamlabs still. I have to know what did I sell my eyeball to get? Uh, probably one of the public works projects. I feel like it was probably the dream suite, to be honest. Yeah, I still have this this eye patch on. I used to have a uh, pirate hat, which I feel like it, it looked a lot better with it, but I don't know. I, I haven't removed it since, so I'm kind of wondering, maybe just maybe... <laughs> Maybe something really did happen to Oliver's eye. Ooh, that's a trippy shirt. Puddles! Okay, I already have this. Hey, Shiny Misty gifting a sub to Chaga Conroy. <laughs> Thanks so much for gifting the sub. Really do appreciate that. Use all those fancy emotes. Chugga. <laughs> oh, man. All right, let's see. Yeah, I, I don't know. I kind of like that idea, maybe. Like, it's just something that I've... <laughs> no pun intended, but it's something I've kind of gone blind to. Like, I just... I. I haven't even paid attention. It's like, oh yeah. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna get an axe. A tree. Although, I think where I place this log bench, I don't think it actually works out very well. Not gonna work with my plan. But I could use an axe anyway. There are always trees to chop down. Our eye to get fresh water. Ha ha ha. Nice to see Henry still has two toilets. Nice. Um, you know what? I don't really think there's too much else I want to do right now. I know at noon... Oh, I have to get a pike. But I know at noon we have to see Cyrano. So, I think that's just enough time for a dream. What do y'all say? First, let me get my dream money. Yes, if someone wants this lovely Porberg flag, <laughs> by all means, take it. By all means.
Did we get any random thrones for doing errands this time? No, we didn't. That would have been really funny, though. I feel like the series idea could translate very well into New Horizons. It said you can just live off the land and the town won't develop if you don't make it. Ooh, that sounds really cool. Oh, that'd be neat. Huh, I wonder if that would be like a fun kind of themed... Kind of like, I, there's so much more I want to know about... Uh, New Horizons. Like just playing it and stuff. I think right now it's too early to say, but that would be really neat if you had just like... An underdeveloped town. Actually, this is really funny. You'll probably find this amusing. Chaga. So here I am, 38 days into this. And <laughs> through very, very careful selective purchases, here's my main street. I still have Nookling Junction. <laughs> I have the flower shop. I have the barber shop. I even have kicks. <laughs> we still have this tiny little ripoff shack, as I call it. It's great. Oh, <laughs> there it happens. Oh, yep. Unlucky today. It's perfect. I know, it's like I don't want to buy anything. I was worried with every piece of candy I buy, is that going to be what pushes us over the edge? Need to show off my house. Oh, no. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> it's a disaster. Uh, okay, so we're gonna just check out a random town. Up to you. I have a little bit of time. I just have to remember. Noon, I have to meet Cyrano in my house. And I still need to give someone a pike. I don't remember who it was. But someone. I think that's it for like requests and stuff today. Oh man. Alright. So, what kind of house or town will we visit? Last one was pretty good. Uh, well, I don't see any, uh, Linkville. All right, Linkville. It has the song I don't like. Uh, paths, but there are some lemon trees. Oh, there's a lot of flowers over here. Well, since I'm right over here, let's share the dream code. All right, Linkville. 4F00146G3F5. Zero, 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 7 p.m. is a good song. Don't be mean to 7 p.m. It's a sad song. It makes me sad. And unsettled. I don't know why. This does. Soleil! Hi! What are you doing? Hamster named Soleil. I'm a hamster named Soleil. <laughs> okay then. What in tarnation? Ugh. Also, what is that music? That just sounds like someone playing the key. Like the descending scales or whatever it is. All right. Whose house is here? Who live in here? Oh, it's you, Diva. What are you doing here? Hey, Oliver. You know? You know? Everyone I see today is so fuzzy. What's up? You have like two genie lamps. Does that mean you get six wishes? Holy smokes. Also, I like how she replaced one of her uh, sarcophagi with a fridge. <laughs> oh, because that's right. She has two sarcophagi in her house. <laughs> well, in mine. And now she's just like, ah, oh, you know what? Who needs two of them? I'd rather just have a fridge. Yeah, there we go. That's hilarious. Hey, how's it going, GNW fangirl? Also, what is going on here? All right, well, first let's talk to you. Inkwell. Tough guy, eh? Look at your face. I can tell you're not an enemy. Just try to be less serious, splat. 
Damari, this town's mayor must be quite a character. Private life is shrouded in mystery, but who has it? He's quite the individual. Why, hello? Thanks. <laughs> All right, let's check this house out. It doesn't look very big, but it's not the size of your house that matters. Uh. Oh. <laughs> oh, lovely balloon amiibo trash. Or not amiibo, but like balloon play coin trash. No offense, but this is like <laughs> the worst. It's not even fully upgraded. This makes Oliver's house look like a mansion. Ouch. Yeah, there's nothing to say here. This will be a really short dream. Although, you might have some nice, uh, villagers. Treasure chest is impressive. It's hard to get if you bar meow coupons. But my guess is he probably used meow coupons. Did you know, Chugga, that you can get the ADB, the 100 million bell thing? You can now get it on a an amiibo card, one of the welcome amiibo ones. It's like, wait, what? Back in my day, we actually had to get a hundred million bells. Martha. I heard that the other day and I was just like, oh man. What is going on here? I feel like it's a kitchen plus a dentist area. What the heck? Didn't hear about that, and you could order crazy stuff and the meow coupons were OP, but yeesh. Yeah, I didn't hear about that until someone pointed it out. They're like, oh yeah, I got that from this. You can do that now, and I'm like, wait, really? It's Gonzo's card from the Welcome Amiibo card series. Which was just crazy. Bertha's a dentist? Iggly! Not looking too buff, though. Ooh, is that a sloppy stereo? I really want that. AK March. And a sloppy TV! And a sloppy couch! Wow! I want all this stuff. So sloppy. Oh, nice, Dr. Cat Astro. You got it legit, right? I've gotten it legit once. It takes such a long time. You are, are you okay? You look like you need a hug. <laughs> Poor Pudge. Oh, I'm already dreaming. How did you get here, Blue? Look at him. He looks so scared. Oh, I'm sorry. Who hurt you, Pudge? Aww. Oh, I still need to see stitches. Rodney! Lish. Oh, does that mean Puddles is here? Can't complain about easier AB ABD. I've just seen some nice folks online use the ABD. Do make it so they can let people in to do terms easily. Oh, that's a good point. Wait, Cyrano? I have two of my, my people here. That's weird. Oh, well, Oliver, nice seeing you. Oh, this town is Linkville. Yeah, that's it. Wait, are we both sleeping right now? We're just supposed to meet me in about 15 minutes. <laughs> that's awkward. <laughs> Ever have that happen? You're like taking a nap. You're supposed to be meeting someone. Hopefully it's just... All right, Puddles is here. What the heck? So this town has three or Herberg. You don't take naps. I took a really big nap the other day, like a two and a half hour one. I was just so tired. It was ridiculous. Felt really good though. 
But I got like nothing done that day. I think that was even Monday, <laughs> to be honest. Oh man. Okay, so yeah, there's three here. Puddles, uh, Diva, and Cyrano. And then Soleil was from... All right, well, I think that's about all I need to see from this town. There's really not that much exciting, to be honest, but it was okay. I didn't use to take naps, and then I got old. Once you get old, it's like, oh yeah. <laughs> that is what I want. Uh... What is that music? Jeez. Ugh. We do not plan to add the subway cheer modes. Wow. I mean, that really explains it. Why it ate them. They don't even recognize them, though. That's just... Like, what do they expect you to do? Yeah, that has me mad. I'd say it was an average dream. It wasn't, like, bad or anything. It just wasn't anything remarkable in the slightest. Yeah, I'll try to switch sooner rather than later. Like, just... That's just so bad. It's like, okay, you don't understand that people will be cheering these bits, these promotional bits, and they won't even get shown. Like, how does that feel for both the creator and the person? Like, thankfully, you guys are really chill and cool about it. Like, you know, that. whoa, I have a rocket in here. <laughs> Jeez, thought you managed to get one of these. Only 2,400 bells for a rocket? I mean, I kind of want to buy it, but I think we're too poor to afford a rocket. All right, well, that be then. Okay, so I need to get a pike. I think I have a pike. I think. I'll have to take a look. <laughs> but if I bought it, I'd have a rocket. I mean, you're not wrong. More fitting for Eggman and Shiny Misty's town? It actually does. Um... Pike, that's right. Okay. Do I have a pike? Okay, I do. Actually, I don't... Uh-oh. Houston, we have a problem. I don't have a pike. I think I had one, but I think I gave it to someone. Well... Like, we're going to be doing some fishing. <laughs> Whoa, Spacey Phoenix. Yikes. That would be the creepiest letter to send. I'm not even gonna go there, but yeah. All right, anyway. Pike. Gotta find a pike. Okay, I know I've gotten a pike, so let's see. What do I... What do I do to find one? There it is. Oh, this doesn't say what time of day? I mean, I think it's... Fine now. Also, where is Stitches? I haven't seen uh, Stitches around all day. Really hoping he'd show his face. I saw him yesterday, but he, this is his first day fully moved in. All right, see you later, Shiny Misty. Stopping by. Uh, yeah, that'd be fine. Pike is 4 a.m. to 9 p.m., so basically all day. Okay. That's good to know, actually. I had a feeling that was the case. Yeah, I remember it being a river fish. 
thankfully it's pretty easy to spot if I'm not mistaken. It's like a very big fish in the river. What time is it? Let's see. Yeah. I got a little bit of time. Remember who made it? <laughs> uh, someone did. I'm than glad to oblige, but our butterfly is all over the. Place. So I know this isn't a pike, but if it's a goldfish. I feel like saving it for later would be a good idea. It's not. It's a pale chub. Oh, I hate it when that happens, Whitney. When villagers just, like, hide in the museum all day. Have to get a Popeye goldfish for Felicity? Oh, so they do request those. luck with that. I found plenty more of those than I did the uh, normal goldfish. Man, I remember looking all over for that. I can't believe Cyrano's going over to my house again. This guy's like way too attached. <laughs> you know? It really is. He's a good buddy, though. That might be a pike. Really? I thought it was a little bit bigger than that. I'm pretty sure that's like a bass. Pikes are pretty big. Instead of Olaf. Yeah. Oh, Cyrano's great. They're the same size as a sea bass. Yeah, that's what I thought. Which is very large for the river. I mean, I guess just because I'm bored, I'll see what this is. Or not? It's a carp. A Cyrano, you're already outside my house. Uh, this might seem a little weird, but can I ask you a question? Be brutal. What do you think of me? You're super nice. Actually, I'll put you all the way up. Like, what? You think I'm nice? Okay, okay, enough mushy stuff. And if, any, and if anyone asks, you better tell them you're afraid of me. All right, chat. We're afraid of Cyrano. Also, he's like right outside my house. He wants to be there like that moment, right? You got three minutes, Cyrano. Don't worry, it's fine. You can help me fish or something too. I need to remember that these red roses here are hybrids. Just talking about Cyrano, too. Like he was listening. We'll never be as creepy as Cyrano. I mean, did you see the letter I wrote Francine yesterday? <laughs> uh, that looks a little too small. Honestly, I thought I'd just go into my fridge and find it there. Okay, so what time is it? It is 59. All right, you know what? He's just like, he is so excited. He's just waiting right outside my house like, and it's almost time. I will offer him some tacos. 
Oh, do I still have that green chair? I like it any better or worse than the common one. Like, I think probably mixing up the chairs would be better. First time you've seen the house. Oh, yeah, it is. It is disgusting. There. It's so much better to have, like, three different chairs. Having things that match? What? Before Cyrano's using me for my pancakes? But he has me over at my house. Or over at his house, too. I'm gonna be so mad if he doesn't show up. Just imagine. I feel like this is the song they'd play at an old people gathering and they'd shout, Hey! On the beats. Maybe. I can kind of see it. Hey, Kate Comrade. Can't wait for this house to become roach infested. That's gonna be gorgeous once the town is put on hiatus. There he is. I was starting to worry. <laughs> he was actually waiting outside. He's like, okay, I can't show up too early. I have to just, like, stand outdoors. You ever have that happen, too, where it's like, you know, you're really early, but you just want to wait. Because you don't want to seem like you're too early. Or too on time. Uh, are you ready now? Sorry to inconvenience you or something. No, it's fine. Do you want some pancakes, buddy? Or some tacos? Or do you even want to dance? I mean, this seems like music you'd like. If you compare the smells of other people's rooms, you can definitely tell the difference. I sniff. Uh, <laughs> he sniffs. Wait, don't get me wrong. I don't think your room stinks, er, and I don't go around sniffing rooms. But you say you sniff. It's your catchphrase. <laughs> uh, I sniff. See? You want some pancakes? Here, sit down and have some tacos or some pancakes. They're really good. Mm. Yum. They're not stale at all. Oh, you want my flowers? I see. If there's anything you don't want me to touch, just give me a Yeah, don't come in here and touch all my stuff. Don't get it dirty. No, you won't. Try pretty clean. Until he leaves his house. <laughs> Alright, I've been here long enough. I should really get going already. See you later, I sniff. Sniffs. <laughs> I love that, that headcanon. Um... Okay, I do need to sell these oranges. Probably other things. Alright, see ya, GW fangirl. Hey, thanks, Shreepa, for the 100 bits, saying I finally completed all the jokes and just got the Shrunk Funk Shuffle. Hey, nice. That's a big accomplishment. That takes a long time. wonder you've been having so many <laughs> jokes. Oh. Uh... All right. I need a pike. Big, big pike. Come on. Gigantic. Largest ever. Let's see it. Where are you? Didn't think it'd be that tough. Also, how does this eye patch even stay on? Like, it looks like it's just taped. I don't think this is it, but I'm getting desperate. Oh, let's check uh, prices. Let's see that 714. What do you say, right? That was what it was in my dream. 714 bells. Oh, man. Alright, moment of truth. I can probably put some of these things up for sale, too. Alright, it is... 154. <laughs> so it's probably gonna be a small spike. That's fine. Uh, 
Uh, let's put this star projector up. We should be able to sell it for $23.99, I believe. Okay, and then I also have this vintage telephone. Four fifty, so like seventeen ninety nine. All right, you know you want this, Eloise. That would spice your room up for sure. Or the vintage telephone. I don't think she's gonna buy it, is she? I want this? I want this? Buy it. She wants to. Alright, well, let me sell these oranges. And this green chair. Or common chair, that's right. Alright, whatever. <laughs> that's fine. You know what? If you don't want it. If you don't want it, I'm not going to totally force you, but yeah. Okay, let's see if I can get the, uh, the, whatchamacallit here, Pike. how to get this thing. I don't even remember who wanted it, I just know I need it. Also, maybe we'll finally see stitches out and about. Maybe. Not home. get some beans. <laughs> I think I might need that. I might not be able to find that pike. It's kind of weird. I feel like I've... Or... They're uncommon. I don't think they're super rare. They are just not showing their face today. Although, then again, I do have bad luck, so maybe that's affecting things. But I don't have any, what was it, spotted bottoms or polka dot bottoms or something like that, so... I can't escape this bad luck, even if I tried. Can you make a villager buy something in retail? Yeah. That thing's too small. Too small, we need something much larger. A very sizable fish. How much are you trying to sell the bed for? Because that's the other thing. The price needs to be reasonable. It needs to be one bell less than four times the price. So if something is 1,000 bells, like if that's the recommended price, then you could sell it for up to 3,999. And yeah, you have to push them, but sometimes that can be a little difficult. Yeah, I thought it was off. Not large. I need a large fish, I need a pike. I don't wanna have to let whoever down. Who was it? I should really go find out who it was, because, you know, maybe it's... <laughs> it sounds so wrong, but maybe it's someone I don't care about. Uh... Yeah, I don't really find Pike, like, that hard to find. Hopefully they're pretty reasonable. 
feel like there are a lot of bugs around too. All right, I guess the other question is, are we sure someone even asked for a pike? I think it was Diva. I think. In which case, I don't even see her around. Is it you, Limbird? Oh no, it was Limburg. Limburg wanted the pike. I mean, okay, he's probably got enough. Enough fishy business anyway. I don't think he needs a pike. I haven't seen much of D.Va in this series. Yeah, not a lot, but she's been a lot more interesting than Eloise. She's kind of... Oops, that was my bad. She is a little weird, though. You're right, we don't see her that often. Like, every now and then we see her. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Lindbergh should just steal it from the museum. I like how that's his his thing now, is you know, he just all he's known for is stealing from the museum. Will she be the one who gets the boot when Rory moves out? What? I mean I think Rory will be the one who gets the boot when Rory moves out. You play too much Overwatch every time you hear D.Va. Uh, you can't think of the villager. Your brain just makes up a pink rabbit villager. Oh, man. So I have Chrissy in town. <laughs> who is indeed a pink rabbit villager. So you could be very confused if you ever saw the two of them in one spot. Okay, now this is getting ridiculous. Where is this pike? Uh, I don't think they're the right size. This thing is larger, like I know it. I know what it looks like. I'm just really shocked that I haven't been able to find it. The uh, small fish. Uh, what? Oh, here we go. Yeah, you look a little happier or something. You just look so mean all the time. Wow, Cyrano, that's kind of rude, really. Uh, <laughs> dude, he's calling out Limburg. <laughs> look at him go. Oh, this is awkward. Oh, Nan, I'm so sorry, Nan. I don't want to hear that from the likes of you, you big loudmouth. You want mean? Look in the mirror. Oh, that's rude. What was that, you jerk? I was just trying to help. You should kiss my feet and thanks, you ingrate. Did you not hear me say I'm not listening to you? No other face in the world is as scary as yours. Oh, that's so sad. Dude, Limburg is just tearing him apart. What? Fine, in that case, we'll have Cowboy here tell us who has a scarier face. Sounds good to me. You heard him, cowboy. Tell us who's scarier. You're both scary or I'm not scared? Uh, I'm not scared. Oh, poor Nan. She really wants attention. Oh, man. Cowboy's got tears in his eyes. Look what you did. Seriously, I think we scared him a bit too much. Sorry, sorry. We'll drop this for now. All right. We solved that problem. Hi, Nan. I'm so sorry that you were wanting to talk to me and I wasn't even saying anything. Oh, you want my birdwing butterfly? Sure. That was a heated discussion. Oh man, a school jacket. Really? <laughs> That's so bad. It's a terrible trade, but I feel bad that I didn't have a chance to uh, say hi or anything. While you were like, oh, I want attention. 
Jeez, that was really feisty, though. Good lord. Both Cyrano and Limburg, they were both tearing into each other. I don't think any of them were saint there. I think it was just Cyrano kind of getting overly defensive. Probably because he knows the trouble I'm going through trying to find this pike. He was taking it out on Limburg. Like, how dare you try to make Oliver find a pike? Your face is ugly for that. It's like, what? Uh. Yeah, we're not getting either a spike or a pike, Shripa. Zero so nice to us because he's mean to everyone else in town? Because if we find out, we'll kick him out? I don't know. I don't really see him, like, interacting with other villagers too often. Like, it doesn't seem like he's, you know, the talk of the town or anything. Like, yo, this guy's a jerk. That's oh, too sweet. I don't have enough patience for that. Although, realistically, that'll probably be over there. Oh. I feel so bad for Nan. Your outfit look? Uh, it's kind of plain. I wish you'd change into the other one that I sent you. Speaking of outfits, how does this look? Very professional. Doesn't really fit my style. You should wear it, Nan. All right, let's see. Rory doesn't get into too many fights. Man, where is this pike? What the heck? Yeah, I don't think there's any connection issues on my end, Spacey. Alright, so I haven't seen Chrissy today. I haven't seen Stitches. And I haven't seen... Um... What else are we missing? Actually, I guess it's just those two. Oh, Puddle... Uh, I think we saw Puddles briefly. Very briefly. <laughs> Rory just looks like he wants to offer anyone that visits him a grilled cheese and tomatoes. He's a good boy. Yeah, until you talk to him, then he'd probably be like, oh, there's too many carbs in that. Actually, I think he likes carbs. I don't know. Very much a jock. Oh, same. Me all the time. But I like Rory. You just asked me about your outfit. Okay, meh. Yes, how about, you know, the outfit I sent you? I was really interested to see how it would look on you. I won't even do that. Rory, I need some help. Help me fish. Nan, her nan always talks about her clothes. She does. It wasn't super popular when New Leaf was released, so carbs are fine. Oh yes, how times have changed. Not a fan of the jock personality type in this. Yeah, kind of the same. I think it's probably my least favorite. It's because that's, like, all they talk about. I really hope they come up with better names for the personality types, if they keep the same ones. Because I was thinking about it this morning. I was thinking, okay, so... Normal. I mean, we talked about this yesterday, but, like... What is a normal personality type? Like, hello? Excuse me? And why can only the girl villagers be normal. Like, what? Is that implying that no one else can be normal? 
I feel like if they just renamed it to, like, gentle or something, like, that would be fine, you know? There's so many different words you could use. Use ones that are, I don't know, <laughs> more normal, so to speak. Like, Jock is fine, I get that. Like, there's a lot of sporty villagers. You're hoping New Horizons has more personalities? I do too. Or that they could have, like, sub-personalities, you know? Like, kind of mix two together. I think would be good. Hey, how's it going, Linkle? That personality called Sweet in Japan? Is it really? I don't really know. Sweet would be fine. think any of the personalities should be gendered yeah yeah go that way as well the only reason I could think of that they would need to be is just because it's a lot of dialogue to kind of go through um, and if they tried to have the writing kind of ambiguous like I mean I'm fine with that I, I think it'd be really cool if they had like a few neutral personality types, but I think, like, some just wouldn't quite work as well. Like, it's just a lot of writing that they'd kind of have to think about. Which they could do, but... Like, we don't even think of how much text there is in this game. All right. I'm about to give this up. I don't know where this this pike is. Dude, this is just ridiculous. Like, I haven't even seen one. And I've been here for 20 minutes. so weird. Like, I think I'm just gonna have to say, sorry. Can't find it. Just bizarre. Like, it's just not showing up at all. Gotta be the, uh... Gotta be that curse on me. Only I had the clothes I needed. I don't think I have them. Like, I could check. I don't recall having any, though. Yeah, we're just gonna have to say sorry, Limburg. I mean, this guy was also fighting against my boy, Cyrano, so, like, does he even deserve this pike? Does bad luck affect requests and make them harder? Um... It depends. At least I don't think... I don't know for sure, but I don't think this one does. This one's for health, which is like running around and stuff and tripping. But there are... I think there are some that are bad luck towards like... Towards love or whatever, which would affect your villagers of the other gender. One opposite yours. And then friendship. I think if you have bad luck towards friendship, it would affect like, the requests or stuff with, uh, villagers of the same gender. I think. I don't know if it actually affects their requests or not. But it does seem weird to trade a birdwing butterfly for a shirt and get things like a green chair, so maybe I'm kind of cursed after all. But still, it's so weird to not have any of these pikes spawning. That's probably because of the luck. Mixed on that. I feel like if you cancel a request, I feel like there should be some kind of a 
punishment if you cancel or if you don't deliver on it. Just because it's like, you know, think about it in real life. Like, you know. You let someone down, <laughs> they don't feel too good about that. I feel like you kind of need to... Need to commit to it. Like, if you say, hey, I'll do that. What I just wish is that they wouldn't be like, oh, you have to show up. You know, I want to go to your house, or do you want to come over to my house? Oh, okay, cool. When works good after insert time. It's like, whoa, why can't we just do it right now? Like, I don't want to have to do it later. Hey, how's it going, Reed? This isn't it, but I just want... Alright, well, we'll throw this away. I like rainbow trout. They're not, like, super common, so maybe I'll hold on to it. That's something I hope they change for, uh, New Horizons. I'm gonna give it like two more minutes and then I'm just gonna say sorry we're not doing that it's like you've seen how much work I put into just finding this one pike like I thought I had a pike clearly I don't it's just ridiculous Yeah, I think that would be just fine, Whitney. I think if you say, hey, I'm sorry I can't do it, then it would, I think if it like has a lesser penalty, I think that'd be fine. Because he's an actual criminal. He is. It's just we don't have any police in town, so he can get away with whatever. He probably stole all the pikes from the river in the first place. He's probably up to something right now. Like fighting with Cyrano. Is Limburg, yep. I am certain these things aren't that hard to find. Oh, he asked me for one because he, uh... Because he's probably up to something else. He wants to distract me. Arrest <laughs> Lindbergh 2020. Right? Okay, we're gonna do like one more pass, and then that's it. I'm just not getting him that fish. What do you mean Olaf wasn't an actual criminal? He was a murderer! He murdered my flowers! He deals in stolen art! Well, no pike. That's unfortunate. All right, well, whatever. We tried. We tried way too hard. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. I will see you tomorrow for even more Animal Crossing. Oh, yeah. See you next time, everyone.